Kicking things off on front page tonight is OpenAI. Well, OpenAI has flipped the script on how we use AI. ChatGPT Pulse now live, live in preview for pro mobile users is the company's first big move from a reactive chatbot to a proactive personal assistant. Instead of waiting for you to ask, Pulse spends the night researching your interests, scanning your chat history, memory, and if, you're, if you opt in, your Google Calendar and Gmail and serves up a curated morning brief as tappable visual cards. There's no endless doom scroll. When the cards end, the feed stops. Sam Altman calls Pulse my favorite feature of ChatGPT so far, end quote, and for good reason. He describes a future where AI shifts from reactive to proactive and extremely personalized, end quote again. Drop casual hints. I'd like to visit Bora Bora or my baby is six months old and tomorrow morning Pulse might bring you travel ideas or key developmental milestones. Think of it as a super comp uh, com competent personal assistant that doesn't just answer questions, it anticipates them. Pulse runs asynchronous deep research while you sleep. The next morning, it might draft a meeting agenda, suggest a 45-minute running route that ends near tonight's dinner spot, or even offers healthy dinner ideas. You can tap Curate to guide tomorrow's update, give thumbs up or thumbs down feedback, and delete feedback history whenever you want. All integrations are opt-in and safety filters block harmful content. Previously on Front Page, we reported how OpenAI, Oracle and SoftBank are building five new US Stargate sites, a nearly 7 gigawatt AI compute grid with more than $400 billion in planned investment, tracking forward towards 10 gigawatt and $500 billion by 2025. NVIDIA's planned $100 billion stake and next-gen chips will power the kind of overnight mini-deep researchers that make Pulse possible. This is industrial-scale AI infrastructure, the backbone for the agentic future. Behind the scenes, OpenAI is quietly hiring an internal advertising team led by its new applications chief, Fidji Simo, X Instacart X. Facebook with 700 million users, but only 20 million paying. Ads could unlock multi-billion revenue even as 2025 revenue already hit $12.7 billion, that is triple of 2024. Job listings for a growth paid marketing platform engineer suggest Pulse daily cards could one day double as a tasteful, targeted ad surface. Early testers on Reddit call Pulse, and here's the quote, newsfeed without the doom scroll, saying it feels like an organic version of social media algorithms, end quote. But skeptics warn it might be the beginning of ads in notification form and question whether giving ChatGPT more personal data could create an echo chamber. OpenAI insists Pulse is made to work for you, not to keep you scrolling. OpenAI's strategy spans both ends of the market. The ChatGPT Go plan, under $5 per month, has doubled paid users in India and just launched in Indonesia. Meanwhile, OpenAI for Germany, built with SAP and Microsoft, will bring sovereign AI to the public sector with SAP's Delos Cloud scaling to 4,000 GPUs for secure regulation-compliant AI services. Anthropic, Google and startups like Hux are racing to build autonomous AI agents. But Pulse's deep memory integration, multi-gigawatt compute muscle and early monetization plans give OpenAI a strategic lead very clearly. A direct path to the HER style, if you remember, AI assistant that Silicon Valley has chased for a decade. Pulse is more than a feature. 
it's a strategic signal. OpenAI is moving beyond reactive chat toward a world where AI anticipates your needs, powered by massive compute infrastructure and monetized with ads. Whether you see it as the start of a her like a personal assistant or the subtle arrival of an ad driven future, one thing is very clear. This is the next phase of the AI race, and OpenAI is setting the pace.